the world's first entirely light based memory chip to store data permanently has been developed by material scientists at Oxford University the device makes use of materials used in CDs and DVDs and it could help dramatically improve the speed of modern computing today's computers are held back by the relatively slow transmission of electronic data between the processor and the memory there is no point using faster processors if the limiting factor is the shuttling of information to and from the memory the researchers think using light can significantly speed this up simply bridging the processor memory gap with the photons isn't efficient though because of the need to convert them back into electrical signals at each end instead memory and processing capabilities would need be light based too researchers have tried to create this kind of photonic memory before but the results have always been volatile requiring power in order to store data for many applications such as computer disk drives it is essential to be able to store data indefinitely with or without power now an international team of researchers including researchers from axford university has produced the world's first all photonic non volatile memory chip the new device uses the phase change material gst the same as that used in rewritable cds and dvds to store data this material can be made to assume an amorphous state like a glass or a crystalline state like a metal by using either electrical or optical pulses the team has shown that intense pulses of light sent through the waveguide can carefully change the state of the gst and intense pulse causes it to momentarily melt and quickly cool causing it to assume an amorphous structure a slightly less intense pulse can put it into a crystalline state later when light with much lower intensity is sent through the waveguide the difference in the state of the gst affects how much light is transmitted the team can measure the difference to identify its state and in turn read off the presence of information in the device as a 1 or 0 by sending different wavelengths of light through the waveguide at the same time a technique referred to as a wavelength uh, multiplexing the team also showed that they could use a single pulse to write and read to the memory at the same time now the team is working on a number of projects that aim to make use of the new technology they are particularly interested in developing a new kind of electro optical interconnect which will allow the memory chips to directly interface with other components using light rather than electrical signals